personality mastery is the first leg. The second leg of this three-legged stool in building our system and building systems is the 530 grid. Mr. Mark Elkins, come on up. Good afternoon. I am Mark Elkins. I am a real estate investor, as I mentioned earlier. And I am an analytical. So if you notice that, I'm also an expressive. So I'm an expressive analytical or analytical expressive. I don't know how to put that together exactly correctly, but that is the case. I want to start off with a story that I told at this very session, installing systems, a year ago. So if you've heard it, bear with me on the story. This is a story that my, uh, my little girl asked me at the time. Why can't you see the elephant hiding in the tree? He's hiding, duh! <laughs> There's another reason why you can't see it. You're not looking for it, right? Because you have got a system that doesn't point to specifically your target. The 530 grid, this was brought to me about 18 months ago by a smart man, Mark Borsma. He called me up and he said, Hey, Mark, are you using systems? And I said, well, you know, and I hemmed and I hawed and went. He says, well, listen, if you want to talk about systems and you want to start working on systems and getting your business organized and put together, then you need to, and I said, stop talking, Mark. I don't know if you remember. I said, stop talking, I'm in. Go. And he brought this to me, and it has made a world of difference in my business. What systems are? are specific patterns of behavior that you can follow every time to make your business work in a particular way. I've heard a lot of multi-level marketing, network marketing people here in the room today. And if I started asking, who is your target? Because every business has marketing, pre-sales, the sale, servicing, and client for life. And the first thing you've got to do is identify your target. If you haven't got an identity of your, tar of your target market, who are you selling to? You don't know. The 530 Solution Grid will help you pin that down. And you can develop procedures inside your level one to help you identify that target. Now, I hear network marketers all the time, who is your target market? And they will tell me, well, anybody who needs a Really? Is that really your target market? Is that really the person that you identify with the most? Is that really the person that you can sell to? Is just going out there and searching through the forest going to help you? Or do you need the kind of glasses or scope or process that helps you identify the elephant in the tree? If you have a system, you will start identifying the elephant in the tree that you're really looking to sell to. And you will be more effective. And you can develop and deliver a message specifically to that elephant in the tree. And you should be tracking how many of the elephants you found and sent a message to. So many network marketers in particular, and just general business people, are advertising out very generically. They haven't got a system for that. Well, the system is a system that doesn't work, which is throw out an advertisement and see if it works, right? But what if you targeted it, right? What if you targeted Specifically, where is my elephant in the tree? And then you found that particular type of person to buy your product. Now, systems, everybody's familiar with systems because you've heard of McDonald's, right? Who's heard of McDonald's? Okay, great. Now, they have specific systems. Their idea is that the least capable person that they could find anywhere should be able to make french fries, right? Who knows what happens to french fries if they're in the, in, in the bin longer than nine minutes? Soggy. They get soggy. <laughs> Time to throw them out. If you want crisp french fries, they gotta be in the hopper for less than nine minutes. Now here's another system I'd like to talk to you all about. Who is familiar with this bag? Anybody? Toll House morsels. This is a bag of Nestle semi-sweet Toll House morsels, right? Now they have a system too. Their system is we're going to put this bag of stuff out where people who bake will find it, right? 
Now, the beauty of systems is you don't have to know all of the procedures in your system. You just have to know that they work. Today, this meeting is run under a system. We built the system, Mark developed the system, and forced us all to look, work along with him. No, actually, he talked to us all about it and looked for suggestions and he searched and he threshed through the different things that might work until we come up with this system. And today, if Mark Elkins did not show up, any one of the people who has been a long-term member here could have stood up and made this presentation with equal efficacy because the system provides them with the information. This bag is put out where people who bake will find it. Right? Who's the elephant in the tree for Nestle here? Bakers. Now, does the CEO of Nestle, do the high-level staff, do they bake? I'm going to guess probably not. But if my 12-year-old grabs this bag, can she make Nestle Toll House cookies? Yes. If I gave this bag, or bags like it, to three or four of you, could we all bake cookies? Mm -hmm. And if we showed up at the, at the church picnic with cookies on a platter and we put them all together, you wouldn't be able to tell whose cookies came out of which oven, right? And there's a system here in a process, and it says, mix this stuff together until the batter is creamy. Now, if you're not following a system and you just throw the stuff in the, in the bowl and you, don't, you mix it up a little bit, but it doesn't get creamy, what happens to the cookies? They're gritty. They're gritty, right? What happens if you're in a big rush? It says here to cook these for, five, uh, for 12 minutes. 9 to 11 minutes, sorry. 9 to 11 minutes. You're in a big hurry. You've got to get out the door. You're late for the picnic. So you bake them for five minutes. What happens to cookies? They're mushy. Gooey. Yes, gooey they may cookies. Not, they may not be cookies, right? They're no, just they're gooey cookies. That's the way I love them. Okay? Well, you should bake them for nine minutes then instead of 11. <laughs> because I tell you what, at five minutes, they ain't cookies yet. They're just lumps of dough on a pan. Right? It says here to leave them cool on the pan for two minutes and then put them on baking rack. Who knows what happens if you leave your cookies on there for an hour? <laughs> My dog's got them already. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> they get stuck to the pan. Right. Right? And you may never get them off. You have to be scrubbing them off in the sink. All right? And you didn't get to eat cookies. So this is a system that everybody can follow. And the least capable person in your house can bake cookies because they follow this. If we show up at the church picnic, these are all about the same size, they're about the same weight, they contain about the same amount of chips. And the beautiful thing about this is, I know that this system exists because here it is on the map, right? So I do not have to bake the cookies. All I have to do is know where in the aisle the chips are, right? Which means that you can use a virtual assistant who doesn't know what your business is to start with, who doesn't know all of the details that you know at a high level about your business, because you're going to follow the system. You're going to start plugging things into these segments. You're going to have six segments of marketing and pre-sales and the sale and servicing and client for life. And you don't have to know all of those things because you working on a system, which means that the least capable person you can find might be a virtual assistant. Now, they're not least capable because they're not capable of stuff. They're least capable because they don't know specifics about your business, but they know how to do all kinds of things. And you don't have to know what's going on on that end. You only have to know if the results are there, right? You've got a policy for how you operate your business, which is, I'm going to be in network marketing. I'm going to be in real estate. I'm going to be in whatever business it is that you have to happen to choose. I'm going to be in hypnotherapy, whatever. And you've got a set of processes. This is the map. Here's the map, baby. If you follow the map, you will get there. Yeah? And it is up to you or your assistant or your staff to follow the procedure which is the steps listed on the bag, right? 
And if you follow that process, this map, then you will get to where you need to be. This is the way to install a proper system, is to start following something that is regular and consistent. When I work in real estate, I know that I can find a house. Now, can I just find any house? No. I have to look for a house that's kind of like the bag of chips. If it matches the bag of chips, sort of, then I can work in that house and I can find that house, I can buy that house, I can work on it and make profit on it. Other houses, I leave them alone, just like I leave the other chips alone in the chip aisle. Right? So, my name is Mark Elkins. I'm a real estate investor. If you would like to talk to me about real estate investing, or you would like to validate the credibility of Mark Borsma and the Action Vision System, or you would like to validate the efficacy of the virtual assistants, please call me at 630-372-8800. Took the chips. <laughs> I was like, oh, we were gonna, we gonna already bust stopped. those open, boy. I'll tell you. <laughs> the dumb chocolate. Are we stuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna work again. Is everyone starting to see the value of installing systems, whether it's asking the right questions in the right way to people, depending upon what their personality style, by taking a, a short, uh, you know, and fun survey. Or, or to have a roadmap. Once you know their personality, is is you know that they're going to start at the identifying targets, no matter who they are, anyway. Isn't that isn't that reassuring? You don't have to start all the way at penetration expansion on 27 or speed to sell. What? No. Just identify your targets. Know who they are, and then develop and deliver a message. I think that's so key.